My name is Corey Shear. This is my wife, Jamie, and we live with our four children here in Liberty, Missouri. What brought me to Liberty Hospital on July 18th, 2013 was a serious accident that involved me riding on a bicycle, training for a triathlon, and a vehicle that turned into my path and we collided. Obviously, I was in significant pain and had a lot of injuries, but thanks to some good Samaritans that were close by, I was able to get transitioned from a state of significant injury to stabilized, was transported from that spot to Liberty Hospital in the ambulance. It was at that point in the ambulance where I first realized, number one, how sig significant the injuries were, but also I realized the significant care that I was receiving and the level of, uh, of attention and, and care that the paramedics provided, which moved over into my experience in the, into the emergency room at Liberty Hospital. I remember before going into my surgery to stitch up my back and my arm and the side of my face that uh, the trauma surgeon, uh, Dr. Beggs, came out and I remember vividly what he said. He looked at me and he said, you have no broken bones, you do have a few hairline fractures, no internal injuries, and he didn't see any significant long-term effects with the exception of uh, some joint injury to my shoulder. He looked at me and he said, you need to go buy a lottery ticket because it's a miracle that you survived that crash, number one, but number two, that you don't have injuries that are much worse than you have. They took incredible care of me, but I'm also very thankful because it was miraculous that I was able to walk out of the hospital a day and a half after the accident itself. The primary rehabilitation, there were two primary components to that. The first one was wound management, and so thankfully my wife, who's a physical therapist here in Liberty, she was able to provide significant wound management for me. The other major component of my rehab was the physical therapy that I received. There were about 18 different physical therapy sessions. In addition to the physical healing that came from the therapy sessions, I really was able to work through even some of the emotional, traumatic elements of, of the accident itself. I have nothing but fond memories of the healing process as a result of their care for us. All of it has been a gift of what it could have ultimately been, and we're grateful for that. Running has been really instrumental to my recovery. The physical release of the everyday stresses of life, but also um, because it's an opportunity for me to engage in something that's competitive during half marathons or full marathons or ultra marathons. But also it's allowed me to have a platform to raise money and to provide awareness for various charitable organizations. After the accident, I made probably a little bit of a crazy goal uh, to run 12 marathons in 12 months and to raise money for five different charities that serve basic needs. In that year, I ended up running 13 marathons instead of 12, and I raised about $17,000. It was just an opportunity for me to utilize running as a recovery opportunity that year, but also to think about running in a different way, to utilize it as a platform for good, as opposed to just simply getting a medal at the end of the race. One of the charities that I ran for during the 12 Marathons in 12 Months challenge was World Vision, and I ran for their food program. I was able to get connected with Team World Vision, which is the program in World Vision that focuses specifically on clean water efforts in Sub-Saharan Africa. We had some goals of, of raising about $100,000 the first year with 100 team members, and we far exceeded that by raising over $200,000 that first year. And then last year, we raised $380,000 for Team World Vision. And then this year, we're now up to 850 team members, and we have a goal of raising a million dollars for clean water just in Kansas City. So we utilize running as that platform to do it, and we also are able to build a camaraderie with team members and community members that we might not have other, otherwise met as a result of coming together and training together as a team. This last spring I was able to participate in the first Liberty Hospital half marathon. It was an awesome race. I was really, really blown away by how professional it was, uh, the quality of the race route, uh, the opportunity to connect with a bunch of people in the community that I know, but also a lot of new people in the community that I'd never met. I'm really looking forward to participating again 
next year, but it was a great event all the way around and we were really fortunate to have good weather, which always helps.